Hey, I got an, I got a, uh, that's a nice omelet pan, okay? I suggest maybe get one, this is like a six inch pan. We can have a eight inch, whatever. And the, the key to a good omelet pan is don't overheat it. You know, when you work in restaurants, you're gonna, you're gonna overheat it. But I don't, don't turn your burner up too high when you're making these omelets. But I'm gonna show you kind of a foolproof, uh, a foolproof way for an omelet. So, uh, you know what they say, never crack an egg on a corner, always on a flat surface. Okay? That way you don't get shells. Don't crack it here, crack it on a flat surface. Okay? I always put a little salt and pepper. And then, uh, so there's certain things that I like to saute in a separate skillet. Some things I like in the omelet itself. Some things I like to put into the into the inside fold. But I, I uh, sometimes I cook cook the uh, onions in a separate skillet. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these on the finer side. And. Uh, Put a little bit extra heat under here. Get them a little bit up. So we're gonna cook a bacon, onion, tomato, and cheddar omelet today. So uh, a little salt, pepper, in, in with the egg. Or you can whip them up. Sometimes they put them in a like a milkshake. Uh, you see some restaurants they'll put them in a they'll blend them. You know, get a lot of air into them, volume. You can take your egg whites, separately beat them, and fold them into the yolks. Get a more uh, air aerated omelet. Get them uh, translucent. Put, even put a little bit of salt and pepper in for the onions. I like a little bite, a little texture into the uh, onion. garlic bread in the earlier video, now you got onions. You know, Paula, you better get Paula that. <laughs> have a bite of the omelet too, Glenn. I'm gonna have to. Nothing like a good smell of onions and garlic, oh, though. it smells great. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the fire down. Put half my, half my tomatoes in. Set up a little bit. I kick the heat up just a little bit. Never, never make sure you. Never stack another skillet inside your omelet pan. A lot of times you put a rag in between, you know, just to be safe. Don't let anybody, you know, I hide my omelet pan at home. Okay. 
That's it, right there. So then, a little bit more tomato. I'm gonna turn it way down now. Get some bacon. up a little bit, you'll see. It'll loose, it'll cook, it'll steam and melt everything. And we'll be right back. Got All it. right, so we got a little melt going on. So then just come up. It's still not completely cooked. We're gonna have to flip it one more time over. And that's it. And one more fold. Restaurant business, we put a, put a little bit on top so we know what we have. We we'll strip of bacon in just another couple minutes. Is that on, like, the piece de resistance? That's it. Then you just slide it right off. But you know, we had a low we had a low flame on it the whole time, so you don't don't warp out our our. Heat is the worst thing to do with, te with Teflon. Come on in, Carly, Paula. Here's a couple of weapons for you. <laughs> Thank you. So this is a bacon, tomato, oh, onion, incredible. cheddar omelet. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna be hot. Careful. Really careful. Look at the steam coming off it. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you're gonna do some work. <laughs> Knife and fork with the bacon on the inside. Wow, that's good. Huh? That's good. Hey, grab a fork. Come on back and do a bit of an omelet for you. That's awesome. Wow. Good? Yes, it is. See, that's my problem. Not low and slow. <laughs> I never took it. That's fantastic. We'll see how it uh, puffed up. Almost like a frittata. Yeah. That's good. Get in there one more time, Carly. That's the trick. You got a knife, you gotta you got a knife and fork with the with the whole whole bacon yep. in there. That's good. By the way, peace, good health, prosperity. <laughs>